Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. My name is Priscilla and this is my husband Aquila. We're tent makers and we're also friends with Paul the Apostle who also happens to be a tent maker. In addition to being tent makers, we're also storytellers and our favorite story to share is the gospel. And how we got to be storytellers is a story in itself. We met Paul in Corinth and traveled with him to Ephesus. During our travels, he trained us in stories about the gospel, about God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. So now, over time, we're going to share those stories with you because we love you and we want to share the good news of the gospel with you. Just like we did a long time ago in Corinth. And again in Rome. We're opening our church home to you as believers. And we hope and pray that you open your hearts and hear the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. So pull up a pillow, <laughs> sit back, and relax and hear about the wonderful plans he has for you. Today, the story is The Warrior Leader. Wow, the war, war I can't even uh -huh. say that. The Warrior, warrior leader. leader. And it's a story about Joshua and the Battle of Jericho from Joshua 3 through 6. Okay. After Moses died, God gave his people a new leader. His name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the special land that God had promised to give them. By this time, God's people had been wandering around in the baking desert oh. for 40 years. That sounds really miserable. Oh, yeah. So you can imagine how sick they were of sand and yeah. anything yellow yeah. and tents and walking yeah. and being hot yeah. and how happy they were mm -hmm. to reach the edge of the desert and to see their beautiful new home. I'd be really happy to, yeah. Right in front of them. All cool and green and oh, lovely. That sounds lovely. There was only one problem. What's that? Jericho. Jericho. Jericho was a city. A city. But it wasn't just any old city. It was a fortress. A and fortress. it stopped anyone from getting into the land. Wow. The people looked at Jericho, at the big, giant, scary walls around it, at the tall, towering ramparts, at the heavy iron gates bolted shut, and at each other. Yeah. They're not going nowhere. Yep. Well, what would they do? No one knew, but God knew. Of course he did. And God told Joshua what to do. But Joshua must have looked surprised because it was a very odd battle plan indeed, as we'll soon find out. Okay. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you, and I will never, ever leave you. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land will be happy, and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered his army together, and they had their swords, and their spears, and their shields, and they were ready to fight. Okay, let's go! Uh, but the plan wasn't for fighting. Oh, okay. I don't it like was, fighting anyway. Yeah. Well, it was about trusting and doing what God said. What God says. Good plan. Good plan. Joshua's army went marching, marching, marching around the city day after day after day. They okay. were... Okay. They're too scared to fight, the people of Jericho said. Yeah, that seems kind of weird. But... They were wrong. God's people weren't scared. They were waiting, waiting for God to tell them what to do next. 
Okay. On the seventh day, God told his people to march around the city march, once more. March, 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 but not once. March, march. Seven times. Seven times. Then God told everyone to make as much noise as they could. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you to make as much noise as you possibly can? Not very often. <laughs> well, imagine that noise. Add three. What? No, 39,999 other people making that, that would noise be too. Very noisy. <laughs> and you get the idea. Ear splitting. And it was. And as it turned out, stone splitting too. What? Yeah, because the huge, strong walls of Jericho just crumbled down to the ground. Wow. As if they were made of sand. Jericho vanished in a great cloud of dust. That's really crazy. So it was that so it was that God's people entered their new home and they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk. Joshua said, "God has brought you safely here. No one no now will you do what he says?" Everyone, so. everyone said, we promise. Only God can make your heart happy, Joshua said. So don't pray to pretend gods. No, they said, never. No. Mm, I'm afraid they didn't keep their promise. No, brother. They didn't do what God said. And many years later, just as God warned them, things would go badly for God's people. Seems like a vicious cycle. Mm. They would lose their homes. Enemies would come and capture them. They would take them off as slaves. Oh, and God's people would be scattered into many different lands. Mm -hmm. But God's plan was still working. Okay. One day he would give his people another leader and another home. But this home no one could ever take away from them. Hmm. Huh. This just keeps getting better and better. It's good. The end.